This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 Ford F-250 crew cab short bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's a King Ranch package, uh, uh, interior trim package. Uh, it's obviously a one ton and it's also a single rear wheel. There's a lot of rare stuff going on here. It's a pretty cool truck um, It was a theft recovery. We purchased directly from an insurance company in San Antonio, Texas Brought it here do our inspection my guys uh, and it's on a clear title by the way um, uh, My guys do an inspection. They hand me this uh, they say cool truck runs drives looks great um, I do my little cheat sheets over here on the side because I like to read them in order. Uh, what do we do to it? Uh Gave it a, obviously just came back from detail, but it needed an ignition and both door lock cylinders on the front uh, the passenger door and on the driver door were broken out by the car thieves, obviously. Power mirror switch was replaced, all eight glow plugs. Uh, my shop manager tells me one was bad uh, and while he was there, I'm like, just do them. They're not that expensive and we do them. We're pretty good at it. We're actually great at it. <laughs> um, so we did those. Um, the front diff was leaking, so we resealed it. Obviously means new fluid. Um, antenna is new. They stole it. And it's got a new windshield. Also of note, because of course it's a diesel truck. If you're a diesel guy, you know what this is all about. Uh, there's no cat. Um, if uh, Catalytic converter. Arizona buyers must have a cat. Uh, add 450 for a cat. If you're an Arizona buyer, we're going to add 450 to, uh, for it. You have to have that to get through emissions in our state. If you're from out of state, let us know if you want a cat installed before it leaves by your shipper or before you come to pick it up and drive it home. Um, that'll add 450. The exhaust tip is huge, I'm told, and there is no muffler, just so you know. Obviously, we're talking about a guy who wanted his truck to breathe. Um, anyway, uh, just know the rules in your state. Um, now you know what the GP is here, which is game plan. Uh, these are the tires that came on, so someone just spent a pound of money on some uh, wheels and tires. Right. Um, when I see stuff cosmetically, I'll tell you about it. It's got the usual, you know, some uh, rock chip type things and stuff. But it's obviously a really good looking truck. Um, little chips there. So if you were to buy the gold and the copper uh, touch up paint, you'd probably be pretty happy. Uh, after spending about five minutes on the truck, dotting it, you'd probably get 90% of it out if you care enough I wouldn't I wouldn't even spend five dollars to buy touch up paint it's a great looking truck and who needs to sit there with a touch up and do that all right anyway I'm gonna walk around this thing if there's something wrong I'm going to point it out okay there's no uh there's no secrets here uh our our Viewership is huge for our vehicles. The only way I can screw something up is by leaving something out. Look at the tip. See the exhaust tip? That's what we're talking about. <laughs> I'm not sure where you get one of those. Probably at the uh, Triple T truck stop or something. But uh, that's what's there. And uh, who knows, maybe your, your emissions people won't be impressed with that either. Um, anyway, it's uh, it really is my job to... Uh, Make sure that you know what you're buying so there's no drama, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, we have probably five or six hundred on this truck, probably a thousand people a day will see it online. It's gonna sell very quickly, but uh, I gotta make sure that whoever buys it knows everything, okay? So there's no, no drama. We don't have drama here because if there is even a hint of something going on or something unusual or something somebody needs to know, they will know it, okay? All right, I'm going to start this thing up right there. The miles say 132, 932. All right. Ah, uh, radio's on. I tell my guys not to have the radio on. There you go. All right. I'm going to open the hood. We're going to look for Ford stamps on the fenders. If they're not there, it means they've been replaced. Take off the oil cap. It does have a coolant, aftermarket coolant filter, which is good. There's a Ford stamp there, Ford stamp there. There's a sinister uh, coolant filter system, which is nice. Probably why it's uh, in good shape it's in. And then there's a Ford stamp here, and a Ford stamp right there. 
109 degrees right now, so I get an award, right? For being the uh, crazy person doing videos. And 109 touching uh, hot oil caps. Oh my god, it is freaking hot. At least we're not the firefighters up on the mountains behind me. Yikes! Ah! I want all my papers to fly everywhere. I keep forgetting to close that door when I come over here to show you guys the paperwork because that's what happens. All right, sorry about that. All right, here's your uh, Kelly Blue Book. Here's the uh, short bed King Ranch F-350 with 132,903 miles. Typical listing price would be 17,091, which on this truck seems ridiculous. <laughs> All right, it should be a lot more than that, but I'm reporting the news. A range of 14,1, which is not happening, uh, to 17,9. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see. We go over here to the uh, Carfax. There's your bin. Excellent condition. 132,000 miles. They say it's worth 16,620, which I think is absurd. Also, damage is obviously the theft damage we had to repair. I have no idea. They must think that these things are worthless. I watched them today sell on auctions for a lot more than this than they're saying. There's your uh, VIN, no access report of damage. I said, uh, that's the theft. No major title problems. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Excellent services. More excellent services. This guy, multiple people own this thing and they all took good care of it actually. I think it has three owners. Oh, this is annoying. Right. Here's, uh, now we're at 79,000 miles. It says 425 to 16, damage reported. Who knows what that is? It's not a car accident, so I don't know. We don't see any paintwork on the vehicle. All the front end parts are original, so who knows what that happened. Um, Carfax is making so many mistakes lately, it's not even funny. Um, it says it was stolen 8117, recovered 516 of 18. Okay, this is the title that we got. Here's the title this is uh, a clear Texas title. There's the VIN, it was uh, Southern County Mutual Insurance. Okay, they signed it over to Wheel Kinetics. Boom, there you go. All right, let's see. See forward, back, up, down, to forward, back, up, back, heated seat on and off. Make sure you get to see everything here. Pretty truck. Really pretty truck. Very surprised that uh, we own this truck. We got very lucky. This rear seat looks like nobody's ever sat in it. These things are a freaking fortune used, by the way. Sometimes they steal the back seat. You won't even want to know what that back seat costs. If you don't need a back seat, you can sell it for 2500 to 30 But this one? condition it's in probably four grand <laughs> not to give anyone ideas but it's a hell of a way to take some of the price of the car off if you just need this thing just need two seats put a work box back here and sell this seat man this thing is brand new it's great See what else? Let's see door locks, uh, mirrors out, in, up and down, other side out, in, up, 
down. Keep the seat on and off. Seat forward, back, up. Now well, it was already up all the way. Now we'll go down and then we'll go back up. Up. I like it as a manual shifter for the uh, for the uh, four by four. By the way. Let's see. This one down, up. Tilt wheel. Power pedals in. Out. There's your assigned VIN sticker right here. There's the actual VIN here. Arizona put on it. By the way, that'd be the cops inspecting it. It is freaking nice and it cold in here. All right, there's your steering controls for the AC, temperature up and down, manual controls up and down. That looks fine. Here's your moonroof. That matters. They're a pain in the ass. <laughs> My guys tell me they'd rather replace a motor than a moonroof. <laughs> there's your rear window. Let's see what else we got going on here. Tow, tow on and off, on and off. Let's see what else we got. Radio. Okay, from my own we'll go to. Let's see. We'll go to steering controls. Volume up and down. Change the station. Volume up. So there you go. There. Um. There you go. There. All right, now we're gonna do a systems check. Transmission temp okay, oil pressure okay, brake fluid level okay, all doors closed, boom, done deal. Air filter okay, 130 miles to empty. Let's see, put it in neutral. We're gonna go to four high, four low I mean. So now see where it says low range four by four, which by the way, sometimes those shifters are paying the ass and that one just went boom right into it and reverse in four low. This is a big boy right here. I like this truck. Neutral, now we're gonna go up. Now we're in four, four low range goes away. Now we're in four by four. So now we're in four high, okay? And reverse in four high. Boom. All right, neutral, let's go to two-wheel drive and we're off very easy I like when the shifters work like that sometimes they don't um anyway all right if you come to Tucson to drive it home you're gonna pay the following you're gonna pay our state tax rate plus your city oh, I'm sorry you're gonna pay your state tax rate plus our city tax of 2.7 percent and a $250 dock fee if you're an Arizona buyer you are going to have $450 added to the price to get the catalytic converter on if you're from out of state and want one at, to let us know at the beginning, we'll add 450 and get a cat put on. Um, a lot of diesel guys know how to deal with this and they won't want it, but uh, we want people to know that we're gonna work with them and help them get things done and that's how we do it. Um, let's see, if you're gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive full payment, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will scan it into your online file, sign it off to you and scan it into your online file. This thing runs great. That exhaust actually sounds really cool. Um, uh, and then we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, you'll have the vehicle shipped to you. Uh, the title already be in your mailbox before the truck gets there if you're gonna ship out of state. Um, you'll just take the plate and the, uh, I mean the, the title and the uh, truck that you just had delivered and you're going to uh, uh, go to motor vehicle in your state and get plates. good really good um, let's see uh, if you need help with shipping let us know at the time of purchase we could roll it into the price of the vehicle so it'll help with your loan and getting it shipped you could uh, do it all yourself uh, whatever you need let us know at the beginning of uh, the transaction okay 
Um, deposits, 500 bucks. Once we have your deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. If you're serious about the truck, be ready with a deposit. This is a very clean truck. King Ranch, obviously well taken care of. It's not gonna last a long time. Um, what else? Last part of every video, I say the same thing and I have for thousands of videos and for many, 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 many years. I think 13 years now. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge with an attendant serving scones and lattes. We don't have a beautiful uh, zip code uh, where there's fountains in the mall and the whole bit next door. That's all about a mile, eh, quarter mile east of where we're at right now. That's the auto mall. If you need that stuff, it's over there. Um, but you're paying for all that stuff when you buy a vehicle from them. They also know at the auto mall, if they sell you this vehicle and something breaks, uh, you're going to bring it back and they're going to have to fix it. So they charge you for that up front too. It's all built into the price. I guarantee you this truck, if they were selling it at the auto mall, would be 22 23 <laughs> I mean, because they don't want to fix it without having your money to fix it with, right? Uh, they don't have, they have salesmen to pay. They have a property values to pay they got all kinds of stuff to pay that that uh, that we don't okay uh, we are not fixing your vehicle they may if they want to we're not we give you this uh, Carfax we give you this video we give you the photos we tell you what's what and then you put on your big boy or big girl pants and buy a truck uh, but you have to know that we don't have a single vehicle out here except for that Ridgeline's got factory warranty on it other than that I'm, I, would say, I have said the same thing about every single one of our vehicles. Uh, if something breaks, whether it's the day you get it or five years from now, you're writing a check for your vehicle to get fixed. That being said, no blow by, great service records. Obviously, the previous owners were very good to this truck. Um, we did the glow plugs. You know, there's not a whole lot going on here. All right, it's pretty simple. Um, it's lifted, so you know, you got the lifted ride thing, but. Other than that, that's about it. All right. Anyway, uh, thank you for your time.